Hey Kobe, you talked about you, the importance of hydrating athletes, and could you talk about what it means to the mind, to focus on the mind and getting them mentally tough, mentally prepared for their journey to become professional athletes? Well, it happens in increments. There. I just walked in, coach. Uh -huh. I, just, I just walked in, coach. Well, you yeah. been at the bar, getting, getting a drink? And no, I was home. actually I was actually at a press conference for the fight, for a big fight coming up. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Are you a boxing fan at all? Yeah, I, I, I like it. Uh, I, I haven't watched it in a while. I don't Earl, know okay, Earl well, Smith. Let's see what's your name. My name Cameron. is Cameron. Yeah. Los Angeles News Observer. Big fan of yours. Um, if you got a couple, go ahead. Um, that's some real questions. Some basic general questions about identifying talent. And then how you as a coach kind of get the best out of talent. What's some of your well, couple of your That's a big question. I don't know. <laughs> those, those take too long to answer. Those are, those are tough questions. That's what I want. Those are tough questions. I, I can't do a dissertation here. Okay. Uh, I got the great Jim Brown. This is Cameron Duper, LA News Observer. Voice of the fans, Mr. Tim Brown, pleasure to see you today. Thank you. Would you speak a little bit about the, the mentorship? You led this charge with mentoring um, African Americans, inner city youth, uh, for your career. What does that mean to you to do that? What you see, it means on a personal level, it's uh, a no brainer mm -hmm. because I've benefited as a kid by people that did the same thing for me. About football, what do you think about this new helmet rule and how it's going to impact the game? What is the new rule? If the guys lower their head, they're supposed to be getting caught about. You ever heard that? You, well, you, you yeah, ever heard I've, about I've been that? listening, but it's very confusing it, to me. Okay, so you're asking, like, what is it? What is it's clearly? Is it clear? It's subjective. Looking at on Sunday, playing against the Rams, are you more concerned about what they can do on against you guys on defense, or what you can bring to the offenses? Uh, bring from an offensive standpoint. Yeah, every game you try to kind of balance that. You want to attack the scheme in different ways, but then you also want to do what you've done all year and have a lot of reps at. So I think you know, there'll be a balance of attacking the scheme that they have and then doing what we do. With Jamar coming into the league, how much of an advantage was it you, your college days, what you guys have coming into the league in this season? How much of an advantage was that? You got some good questions today. Freddie Roach, I got the great Freddie Roach here. Manny Pacquiao's trainer. So, now, Freddie, you got some gray, I got some gray. When you get over 40, we get some gray, it's hard, kind of hard to, to, to recuperate. Uh, talk, talk to Manny, talk about why this is different for me. Oh, Pacquiao, you know, he's got this good in this, but he, uh, <laughs> yes, he yes. Yes. But my, my question is now, my question is now, does, you train other fighters? Yeah. Would, do you feel that you could have been too close to that situation to make that call? I, I respect you for making the call. I'm just asking a question. Do, do you, could you be too close to that situation to, to make that call and kind of pull the trigger kind of quicker than maybe <laughs> necessary? Because you're right there. You've done could, it all. You've seen could, it all. Could you have made that call? I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying you, is, you could not with, have. You with, could with, not. With that being your son, you, no, could, no, could, you could have could been not, too close. Listen, could listen, you have been too close to that situation? Listen, That's all I'm listen. saying. If that helps you out. No, it, it, <laughs> I, 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 and if that helps out the people that are watching, yeah, because I think I've gonna, never addressed any of these questions. I haven't looked into any of these things. I didn't read none of the comments. This is the closest I came to. It. Yeah. Who am I speaking to right now? Yeah. Yeah. Voice of the fans, Cameron Buford. All right, Cam. I appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Yeah, uh, thanks for breaking it down. Absolutely. I don't like to. I don't like. I don't like drafting two in the top ten. Three injuries. A broken left ankle, a broken right ankle, and then a broken hip. Come, tell me where I'm wrong. Broken left ankle, broken right ankle. And then a broken came back hip. sooner than he should have came back and played and played well. Broken hip, don't forget that. The Ricky Wade scale is where you can take chances on guys now and financially you don't take the same hit that you took in years past. That's true. Okay. He is so physically talented throwing the ball. The Dolphins would be crazy. Not the trick. Crazy. Like, Tua you guys heard me. You guys know my feelings, and I'm I'm blown away by this. Tua is that dude. Really? Yeah. And so, never yeah. mind the injury. Three injuries, you three years. Accurate, like, you see how accurate he is? I saw Joe Burrow. He looked more accurate to me. So with with any with any athlete in any sport, can you give a message to the kids to kind of persevere through the false teachings they patience. may be giving? Patience. Okay. Patience. Patience. Patience.